When God created man, one of the very things he did was to make pronouncements of blessings upon man's life. God has said you will be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, and you will have dominion over the fish of the sea and every other thing in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Those blessings are still valid today as long as you are a child of God. You will see multiplication in your life, your family, your business, and everything that concerns you. God will cause you to dominate and rule even here on earth. You have dominion over powers and rulers over the world. You rule over sickness, poverty, stagnation, and failure. All those things do not have the power to hold you down because you have been blessed by God. And when God blesses you, no man can reverse it. When he opens a door in your life, no man can shut it. It is his seal upon your life. And wherever you go, you carry that identity with you. Whether in the country or in the city, you are blessed. You experience God's blessings. You will receive favor from every end, including your enemies. You will rise high on the wings of the sun. You will accomplish feats that seems impossible to the normal man. That is what God's blessings can and will do in your life. You will prosper and flourish, blossom and multiply. People will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. You will not be an ordinary person that can be overlooked anymore. Rather, God's blessings will come into your life and make you a person that all wants to associate with. Your identity in Christ alone is a blessing. Do you know what it means to be the son of the Most High God, the creator of the universe, the owner of the ends of the earth? Do you know what it means to be numbered with the most powerful force and personality that ever existed and will ever exist? You are part of a royal lineage now. You carry Christ's blood within your veins. That is what makes you a blessed person. Go round with that consciousness. Carry yourself as one from a royal lineage because that is what you are. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and that alone comes with its own significance and attendant blessings. You are princes and princesses in your father's kingdom and have everything at your disposal and care. Live like one and make good use of the blessings God has given to you. You should know that you are blessed of the Lord, and no one or nothing can reverse that. What the Lord is said to do in your life will be a marvel and a wonder to all that surrounds you. The children of Israelites had God's blessings upon them, that it came to the notice of all that surrounded them. They were unconquerable and continued to multiply both in the land of Egypt while they were still in slavery when they got out of Egypt. King Balak knew that he could not defeat these people because they were already blessed, and so he went to call on prophet Balaam to curse them. But every time Balaam opened his mouth to speak, what came out were blessings. Do you see how powerful God's blessings can be? Yes. You become unconquerable and no one can reverse those blessings on your life. People will have no choice than to bow to your God. They will just have to acknowledge God's presence in your life. You will receive favor wherever you go and experience multiplication in your life. Whatever you lay your hands to do will surely prosper and you will experience joy, happiness, fulfillment like never before. All those blessings that have been written in the scriptures will find manifestation in your life. Yes, all will be well with you because God's blessings are in your life. God's blessings are all encompassing and they include every aspect of your life. Consider the spiritual blessings you have. The moment you gave your life to Christ, you receive a new identity. You are no longer a slave to sin, but have received a new name, redeemed by the precious blood of Christ, that change of position from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, 
is a great blessing in itself. You now have eternal life and should not be scared of condemnation. You have become a new creature and your story has been rewritten. No longer will you stumble in darkness trying to find your way. Rather, the light of God will shine upon your life and lead you in the path that you should go. For you are seated in Christ. There is no pain, no guilt, no fear, and no death. You now have life in abundance, and the powers and principalities that once held you bound are beneath your feet. When you are blessed spiritually, you have access to the things of the kingdom. You have fellowship and communion with God, and it is from this point that all other blessings flow. Your eyes of understanding are enlightened, and you come to know the high calling of Christ upon your life. You live a full life that is void of the pressures and worries of this present life. Because you are seated above with Christ, you are at an advantage and can see far ahead. In your physical life, you will experience good health and longevity. Psalm chapter 91 verse 16 says that God will satisfy you with the long life and show you His salvation. The arrow that flies by day or the terrors by night will not touch you. Pestilence, plague, diseases will not come near you because you have God's protection over your life. He will guide you, guard you, and keep you in whatever you do. He will give His angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. He will build an edge of fire around you such that you become untouchable from your enemies. Sickness will not have a hold over you because you have access to God's healing. A life lived in health and wealth is a blessing from God. You are covered on every side and have no fear whatsoever. Moreover, God's peace will guard your heart and mind. Financially, you will experience God's provision like never before. He is Jehovah Jireh and you can be sure that your needs are catered for. Silver and gold belongs to Him and He will give to whoever He pleases. As God's child, you cannot lack or suffer any good thing. He will make your way prosperous and give you success. Look at the life of Abraham. God blessed him so much and made him a great man, even before kings. What about Isaac? He became the envy of a whole nation. See, the blessings of Abraham are still relevant in our lives today because we are children of promise adopted into the heavenly lineage. You have been blessed and you will see the fruit in your life. 2 John chapter 1 verse 2 tells us that God is interested in our prosperity, spirit, soul, and body, and He has ensured that by pouring His blessings upon us, so everything that concerns you, your marriage, children, academics, spiritual life, finances, everything is blessed. Now when God blesses, He adds no sorrow to it, so you can be sure that your joy will be full. You will not have reasons to mourn or cry anymore. Where others are in lack and complaining, you will find yourself flourishing. Just as Isaac planted in a time of famine and reaped a hundredfold, so also will you prosper even in a dry land. The works of your hands are blessed. God is taking you to great levels and new heights. He will lift your head and anoint you with a fresh to greater levels. All you have to do is remain under God's umbrella and have your dwelling place in Him. Psalm chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 tells us that a man that does not walk in the ways of sinners is blessed. He will flourish like a tree planted by the rivers of water and bring forth his fruit in due season. Whatever he does will also prosper. Keep living for God and serving Him faithfully and you will see as blessings continue to abound your life. You are blessed.